What is up, y'all? Welcome back to another episode of Project Zomboid. Well, I got a lot of the stuff finished around home that I kind of wanted to do. We wanted to do some craft. We still have a lot of crafting to do. That that's no joke. But what I I've got prepared for right now is to actually go on a little bit of an adventure. Um, remember, we wanted to go pick up a um, a generator so then we can go ahead and start using power and stuff and start moving refrigerators and things like that over to us. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. I'm already all set. I'm packed up. I'm ready. I got the things I kind of wanted to bring with me just in case. Um, so we'll keep an eye out for any zombies that might be right in our little neck of the woods right here. I'm hearing some. Definitely hearing a little bit of zombies in there, but not much. I'm not going to uh, go kill zombies right now. We're just on our way. So we're going to go back to the place that was like north. Um, a little bit west, northwest of here. And then, uh, I keep hearing zombies or, or me. Am I hearing me or zombies? I might be what, rustling through the uh, bushes myself, I don't know. Anyways, so um, what I'm going to do is put in a cut for you guys. Uh, bring myself all the way up there because um, I, mostly it's just going to be um, making our way through uh, uh, some zombies and stuff. It shouldn't be too hard. Um, but I do got to make it through here first, and that's something that we got to think about doing. Oh, they made it through my wall again. Oh, no. Huh. Can I get down at all? I'm going to have to find a better spot, I think. Maybe that's what I'll do. I'll, I'll go ahead and create a, a spot where I can get down. Oh, man, I can't believe I lost that wall. Well, that was the weak wall. I had one wall member that was weak. Hmm. I wonder if I call him over here, I can get him to all come... Like, like I go right here and I go, hey, you guys, come over here. Come over here. No, they're not coming over. They don't want it. They don't want any part of this. They don't want to move. All right. Um, maybe I'll make another place to get out from right now. Yeah, I think that's probably going to be best. I have to make a stairway. So I'll be right back. I'm going to make another stairway and maybe make another um, exit like over here or something. So I'll be right back. Alright, I did build something down below, but what I did find is that these zombies gave me a chance to get out, so I'm going to get out. <laughs> uh, maybe I can draw some of these guys away from here too. Um, I'm thinking about doing that, so we're just going to go ahead and draw some of these zombies away. Uh, maybe we'll get them to, some to move away. I don't know. We're going to eventually have to kill all these zombies, and that's the thing, but uh, I'm not going to do it right now. <laughs> not, just not going to happen. So we gotta run through our little pile of zombies that are over here that's collected. As you can see, it's been a couple months of zombie collecting, so there's quite a bit of zombies around here now. So I just gotta run through all this. Not a big deal. I'm not gonna be fighting them right now. Not gonna happen. Okay. How much food is in that one? Uh, that one has 12. Okay. So... I'll go ahead and bring you guys back when we get the generator because I have to go get the generator first and uh, it's just me walking all the way up to the top. Figured I'd just show you guys me jumping down off the wall into the havoc. Um, that all those hordes, like right in the front there, they have taken down, they're starting to take down walls little by little, but um, not fully, they haven't fully gotten through yet. And so maybe I'll, uh, maybe I'll think about how I want to deal with that. I don't know. Well, maybe when we get back and everything after we get our generator. So I'll be back once I get over to the area where the generator's at, and then uh, then I'll be right back. Well, let's kill some zombies while we're at it, right? Oh, come on. Knife him. Got a knife him. Oh, oh, oh. Okay. I, I was uh, cutting that one a little close. I've been doing that a lot. Cutting a little close. Uh, glass eye. It looks like a lot of zombies have glass eyes now. <laughs> Alright, so I'll be right back once I get over to the storage areas and then we'll uh, grab ourselves the generator and make our way back home. So, be right back. Alright, you guys. I made it back over to the warehouse, or the storage areas. And um, I did actually went through, I went back through a lot of the boxes already. Um, and I was just taking a look, making sure there's nothing else I really wanted. I did find another dog whistle though. So we can look for a dog, and I figured if I could find some binoculars over here, which I don't know if I can, but if I could find some binoculars, I'm going to go ahead and do a search over here for a dog. Um, because it seems, I, I don't know, it seems like if I search in the same spot, I was getting the same type of dog. So let, let's take a look, see if I can find some um, binoculars real quick. 
Um, and also, you know, I was looking through here and I, I'm noticing that I had to leave a lot of stuff behind, you know. And that's uh, that's kind of common, I guess. You, got, you end up having to leave stuff behind. So, yeah. Um, where's some binoculars? I need some binoculars. And so maybe I'll, I'd like to come back and do a couple runs and grab a whole bunch of things I could use because right now I, I just can't carry it because I'm going to carry one of the generators back. So I wasn't really looking for binoculars at first, but now I am because I, I want to I search here. I do actually need a survival axe. I, I noticed they last a little bit longer when it comes to, um, you know, chopping down wood and stuff. So I kind of want to have couple of those. I guess I could sledgehammer this. This isn't a bad idea because I don't think I can get to the back boxes here. Might as well while I'm here. I do have a sledgehammer on me. Yeah, let, let's do that. We already have a bee smoker at home. Okay. Let's do that. Let's bring the sledgehammer up. And then knock out one of these boxes. Uh, you know, who knows? It could be another dog whistle. Who knows? Could be something good in here. Who knows? And, you know, I, I'm pretty bad at um, not always getting all the loot possible, I guess. That could be one of my downfalls. It could. Uh, let's see. Uh, no, nah, not really seeing anything extra. Medium Alice pack. Um, longbow stuff. Nah. Well, it was worth a look, right? Right. It was. Uh, I think I'm just going to put the sledgehammer. Well, you know what? I'll, I'll hold on to it for a second here. Might be some other boxes I didn't get to either. Oh, there's some binoculars. Okay, let's search for stray dogs real quick. Come on, good dog. A Rottweiler. Well, I haven't had a Rottweiler yet. I know that's an attack dog. Maybe we can put him away. It'd be nice if I find another dog whistle, but oh well. Can't always get all the dogs we want. I just want to have a pack dog. So bad. So hard to find. Well, at least for me, I'm, I've been having a hard time finding it. I'll bring a Rottweiler back. Why not? I only have one uh, pickaxe back home. Uh, I'd like to bring a gas can, too. Because I have one gas can, but, you know, it's going to run out. It'll run out pretty fast. So maybe if I can grab the gas can, too. That would be great. So this is what we're going to have to carry here, guys. So I'd have to put this in here. How much room is that going to give me? I might be able to put fit a gas can in here too, because I have this one. Yeah, let's just unequip that. I think that's the one that's light. Yeah. Okay, so yeah, I think maybe. So when we grab this, we're gonna have to yeah take generator. That takes it up in both our hands, so we're not gonna be able to have a weapon and everything. So that kind of sucks, and we're um, extremely heavy load. Whew. Uh, why can't you put generators? Maybe you can. Maybe it'll let me, after you pick it up, can you equip? No, no, because it's just going to drop it, right? Yeah. Uh, okay. So we got to find ways to carry this generator with, with minimal weight. So if we take generator, I need to lighten the load as much as possible. Um, let's move the hammer over here. And our knife over here. We don't need to have extra water bottle. That can move over. Um, the nails can move over. And uh, probably all my MREs too. We'll probably eat like um, half of one of these ones and then move the other one over. Just limit the weight as much as possible. And see how fast we can move after we do that. That brings us down to fairly heavy, so we can at least move around and run around if, if we keep well fed at least. Um, what are the things? This weighs point two. I can't really believe that weighs so much. All right, um, it's not a bad idea. How much weight does that leave us? Not a lot. I want to grab a gas can if I can. Where was that? That gas can was in here, huh? Yeah, it's right there. They only weigh five. So if I just remove some of my things, I don't need binoculars. Um, and then that's enough already right there. I can put the gas can in here. So that's one gas can. Let's see if we can get another one. I actually have, I picked up some things on the way that I could probably drop. I mean, not, not a big deal. There's books and stuff on me. So let's see if there's another gas can in here. 
that's that's full a full gas can because I wanted to run it for a while hmm more gas cans oh look at this toy tricep what is that what is that thing triceratops doesn't look like a triceratops it looks like a kind of like a cat huh that's kind of funny all right um oh there's another box right over here didn't you? i don't think i ever looked at this one yeah nothing over here um one more gas can or, or am i just gonna go for it now it's a heavy load um hmm i wonder if i lighten this stuff up too i guess i could lighten up some more things couldn't i let's uh let's get rid of any type of other things like books and stuff i was reading books in little houses i, I saw oh you know what i want the mammal one i was needing that for trap making uh we'll get rid of the pulley what while it doesn't weigh too much hmm what else could we grab I think that's it. I think we're gonna have to run with this. Uh, how, what is our, how's our food situation, anyways? Well, our food situation is not that great. We got a lot of jarred food. Oh, we got some MREs. Okay. All right, let's uh, make our way back home. Then I'm gonna go ahead and make my way back home. Um, and I'm not looking for anything else. So I'll put a pause in until we get around the zombies, I guess, and then uh, and then try to hop the fence. I uh, hopefully we can hop the fence and they haven't broke through it yet. Because that's been that's kind of concerning that um, that's kind of a problem right now. So I'll be right back, guys, um, when we get over there. All right, so we're starting to get into where the zombie populations are getting pretty heavy. So we're gonna have to be a little careful here. Uh, do our best to try to avoid any type of uh, zombie piles. Uh, maybe I'm just gonna just go ahead and do this right now. Oh, I can't do that. Oh, that's too bad. All right. Well, I'm gonna try to try to stay away from the zombies as much as possible. We're we're definitely gonna run into a lot of them. So if I just keep uh, moving, I'm not gonna fight any of them. I can't do that. I just can't fight them right now. Anything that could fit in here right now would be good. Well, I'll keep the emery out. Let's all get well fed. Or very well fed, you know, so then we can run through a lot of this. Okay, that should be good. Canteen, I'd like to be able to move the canteen into my regular bag. That might help a little bit. Uh, what could I put on the ground? Um, a lot of hammers back home. I could. Yeah, okay, good. I'll let myself go thirsty a little bit. So let's just try to run through here. Come on. Come on. No, nope, I'm not going to be able to get in through that way. Okay. So I have to come around. Oh, man. I might probably have to come back all the way down. I think that might be too much for me to go through. Well, we'll see. We'll try, right? We shall try. Not too bad. <laughs> A lot, a lot of zombies right there, though. Right at the, right when we get there. Okay, and there's our house. Oh, I don't know, guys. Oh man, we made it, but man, if they b break through that door right now, that wall. Oh shoot! Oh no! Oh no! This isn't good. I'm gonna probably let them get through this time. Oh, that's not good. They're going to get through that other wall pretty fast with that many zombies. Oh, well. Uh, we'll probably have to, next episode, probably kill a lot of zombies. But let's get this uh, generator installed at least. We can get home now. I guarantee they, they tore up my wall. It's already gone. We're going to have to kill a lot of zombies. Either that or just stay away from zombies for a while. Or just stay upstairs and do a lot of crafting for a little bit. I don't know, this this house is gonna be compromised, I think. Yeah. You know what you can stay there. I don't care. There's a couple zombies downstairs, but what we wanted to do is get this generator here, and now we did. Okay, uh where do I wanna put it? I think I was gonna put it like right here on the ground. Look at that. Look at that. Alright, and then we have a gas can. I've never ran one of these before. 
I guess I shouldn't turn it on. It's just going to attract zombies, huh? Um, hmm. Yeah, I'll, I'll put the gas can on the ground for now. And then I'm going to go ahead and equip one of these. Let's get our um, canteen out. I would love to go back and fix the wall, but I don't think I'm going to right now. It's just too many zombies. I'd like to get like a specialized weapon for that once we make our anvil and stuff. We have most of the things we need. Um, okay, that should be good. Let's see if we can kill the zombies down here. Okay. How about you? You want to die too? Yep. Alright, so we're going to have a lot of intruders coming in here pretty soon. Uh, let's get the let's get the generator running. Oh, now look at this. Where are you guys all coming from? They're just spawning out in the woods. Hmm. All right, how do we do this? I am an electrician, so how do I go? Um, let's put this in my main inventory, and then let's see. Connect generator. Add fuel. That should be fine. And then connect generator. That's that seems like we just connected in this area and then everything in this area gets electricity, I guess. I don't know. I don't know how it works. Um disconnect generator generator. Um let's see how loud this thing is. Oh. He's a thumper. That's gonna definitely attract zombies. Okay. Well, you know, it's cool to know that we have that now. So now we have power when we want it. It is connected, but I think, I don't know how it connects. I think it just, I think it's just an area connect or something. We'll test that out on the next episode once I move over. Um, actually, we could go do that right now since we are an electrician. We should go pick up some, um, what do I need? Crowbar, screwdriver. Oh yeah, I got a toolbox now, so that's pretty good. So let's uh, grab one crowbar. Let's grab a screwdriver, and I think a hammer we already have. So empty gas can. We'll just put that on the ground for right now. Um, yeah, I think that'll be it. And then we'll, let's go ahead and go check out, grab some of the stuff in the house. Hopefully not a whole bunch of zombies are over here. So that thing's going to make a lot of noise. <laughs> I don't really care if I'm upstairs, right? I don't care. No. I think we'll be fine. I do want to go to the... I'll go to the kitchen here. Let's go grab some kitchen gear in this house. Like a refrigerator and stuff. And see how that works. I don't know. I'm curious. I haven't tried it yet. Okay. Now the kitchen's right over here. A lot of broken windows. Okay, so... We want to pick up a refrigerator. Well, there's stuff in it, so we gotta move this stuff on the ground, right? Okay, and then screwdriver. Okay, so we gotta have the screwdriver out. Where's my screwdriver? There you are. Then we should be able to take that. A steel fridge, cool. I have a steel fridge up there. What else could we do? Oh, a microwave. Then we could cook. Oh, that's going to be nice. Oh, I like that. I like that idea. Okay. Um, I'm going to go ahead and equip my second bag here. God, I hope I don't get hit by zombies right here, right now. Pick up. Um, chrome microwave. Microwave. Okay, we can get the microwave. Cool. And there's stuff in here that um, I'll eat all that. I don't really need anything else. Oh wait, we'll eat all this too. Why not? And all this stuff can just go on the ground. And then I'm gonna make a get my own countertop. Pick up a hammer. Yeah, well I have a hammer. Okay, I gotta put these in my inventory. Um, where's my hammer? I had a hammer, didn't I? Where'd my hammer go? Oh, I threw it on the ground, remember? When we were running here. Oh, okay, so I don't have the hammer on me. Okay. So, we have that refrigerator, right? Steel. Look, it looks like a... Sh it's, it's putting it like it's a, um, a seat. Hopefully that doesn't... 
I have to go get my hammer then. Well, we'll just get the the fridge then. Come on, I can't see. Let's put the fridge upstairs. Uh oh. What weapon do I have on me? A screwdriver? No. Hey you guys, I apologize about that. I don't know what happened. I was recording and then the recording just stopped and I couldn't really get it to come back on. Um, I couldn't get the recording, my recording software to work. I don't know what was going on with that. So I do apologize about that. I came back, I had to restart and everything. And uh, But we're ready to place the microwave and the refrigerator and I think that we'll go ahead and do that real quick. So let's see, uh, let's place that uh, microwave. It should go right here, it's just fine. And now we got the refrigerator. One well, like right. Oh, I can't put it like right there, can I? Can I put it right here? I could. Well, wait, I could, maybe I can put it right there. I kind of like it right there. I don't know. Maybe maybe over here is good. All right. So let's put it right here. Uh, let's get take a second. Let's go ahead and put that down. All right. So we got. I went ahead and went to sleep too, and everything. I I'll, I'll let you guys know that. I'm sorry about that. You know, I went to sleep. Um, and I was trying to get the recording software to work again, so a little bit of time went by. So here we go. Here's our microwave, and here's our refrigerator. And I think we can just put... I have an egg. I got an egg for cooking. I just want to test it. I think if we just turn on the generator... Oh, man, that thing is so loud. <laughs> well, I think Can we just make this uh, work now? Oh, it's, it's not working. I wonder if this is working. We don't know. I don't really know if the refrigerator is working. I think, yeah, I don't think that's not working. So I'm not getting any way to turn on that. So uh, let's turn off this generator right now. What we probably need is a power cord. And I don't know exactly where I have one, if I have one or not. But uh, I guess we'll do our best. I'll look around and see if I can find one. Um, also, I'm starting to hear zombies. I am. I'm starting to hear them. They're, they're, they're coming. They're not happy about me using this generator, e generator either. And I'm thinking that front wall is probably down by now. And we'll probably take a look. We'll take a look at that on next episode, and then we'll, we'll go ahead and uh, maybe rebuild that wall if we can. We're gonna have to kill a lot of zombies, so we're gonna have to figure out how we want to do it. I don't know. I'm probably gonna have to go down there and shotgun a lot of zombies out of out of my little uh, street right there, so then I can do some repairs. But uh, we'll do that all next time. And, uh, yeah, so I think that'll be it for this episode. So I hope you guys did enjoy this episode. Uh, hit that like button, man. Give me, give me some love, you know. Let me know that you guys are actually enjoying the series. And uh, subscribe if you want to see further. I do appreciate all the people who have been uh, watching all my episodes and, uh, you know, you know, and then been enjoying them and things like that. So, anyways, I hope you guys did enjoy this episode. And if you did, you know, like I said, give me that love, y'all. <laughs> anyways, take it easy, you guys. Have a wonderful day.